All right, and welcome back. Today, we're doing this shit. Boy, oh boy, this is gonna be a fucking treat. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, plague, huh? You don't say. So in preparation, I've done some stuff. This is basically, well, yeah, mostly after the last session. I picked up a ton of these from my storage. We're gonna need them. I think that's about the same. You'll notice I'm using the wing spear. I grabbed this many, many parts ago. Uh, well, you know, after the tower night at some point. It was on the bridge. Um, might use it today. Um, due to the stuff we are going to be contending with. I've taken it upon myself to make the executive decision of... Uh, well, we're doing some tough stuff. So, we're going to plus five. You know what, I don't really need a long sword. Let's get rid of it. It's kind of generic too. Alright, so yeah, claymore, guillotine axe, wing spear, mid and hammer. I uh, don't have enough souls to upgrade the bow or shield further. That's yeah. fine. I mean, look, I've got all these. God, I wish this wasn't going to take so long. I've got all these, but fuck it. I've also grabbed some turpentine with me, because, well, fun. Now, and as for spells, it's what I had last time. Alright, so... Let us have a read. The Valley of Defilement. This damp valley is the resting place of those who have been thrown away, overtaken by poison and plague. The dwellers attack anyone who wanders into the valley, hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go. Ah, uh, Satsuki, you're not really relevant, mate. Um, that said, he is wearing the Shaman set, which we can get as a drop in 5-2. Ooh, crazy. Hmm. So today, I'm thinking of doing like two sessions, potentially. We're going to do 5-1, and I'm going to do 2-2 two, two after a break. That's the plan, at least. If I don't have enough time, well, I'll do it another time, but yeah, still. We are doing 5-1 100% because, well, we're, uh, we're heading there. Alright, so first and foremost. Uh, let's do this. Oh, also, you'll notice, like, yeah, still low amounts of grass. I think that's pretty much what I had before the end of the session. So, let's just whack on this in case. There we go. So, here's the Ash Zone. And underneath here... Royal Lotus. So, welcome to Proto Blight Town. Yep. Yeah, it's something, alright. You know what? To make this more challenging, fuck it. Let's get rid of this. Uh, what do we put on instead? You know what? This will help. Because people love fire here. Oh, by the way, I never commented because, well, I never knew. Apparently, I think this might... It could be an elaborate prank. I don't fucking know. Let's see if we can look at the art zone. There we go. You'll notice, perhaps, just below the moon in crescent moon grass, there's a set of eyes. Got two little tusks. Supposedly, it's based off some Japanese myth of a tapir or something. I don't fucking know. The thing drowsy in Pokemon's based off. Eh, again, could be an elaborate prank. Yeah. Radio. Let's see what you got. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't say. That's some solid advice. Cause yeah, we could uh we could just fall all the way back down. Hmm. Dogs. Now, if I'm right, I think that leads out to 5-2, but I might be getting my orientation wrong. So we have another Valley Dweller over there. That was the fire we could see. They stick fire on things. So, yeah. That's cool. Now, we'll see what he does, because sometimes these guys will just throw themselves off ledges if you position yourself correctly. 
also there's those lovely dulcet tones. I think I chose the correct shield for this. I'm hoping a spear isn't going to make this too lame, but I haven't used one so far. This place again. Yes, yes it is my friend. So we got a, we got one of these guys up here. Of the depraved ones. Hmm. That's what I was waiting for. I forgot it's independent of him. I, th I thought he'd be throwing it. Oh well. So this place is full of some um, interesting traps to say the least. Also that kind of shit. How about you don't? Yeah, so it's not quite Blight Town where the ladders will have um, fire next to them, but you know. Hey, bugs. Spiders, rather. Ticks, perhaps? Um, nah, spiders. But yeah, that guy got it kind of rough, didn't he? You know, just a little. Ooh, item. Now, if I recall, this should be the Morning Star. But that's weird, isn't it? He's got a. He's got his weapon is lit. It's because he's alive. I bet you don't. No. The Morning Star. Now, these guys can't get to where I currently am, so we are safe. For the meantime. If we drop, they can, so. Gotta keep that in mind. Let's have a look at the Morning Star. A hammer with numerous spikes on its circular head. I don't know why I'm reading it so weird. Favored by soldiers of the church, it carries the advantages of blunt weapons as well as a, as well as a bleeding effect from the spikes, making it an excellent weapon. I don't know if I'd go that far, but uh, hammers are generally pretty good in FromSoft games. So if we drop, we uh, have to climb back up the ladder. But if we do this, actually it doesn't matter because we have to drop anyway, don't we? Operate. Nice. Nice. How about you? What are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, cool, cool. There's a couple of guys over there, but the bag road, a little more than usual because I'm not wearing the thief ring. So, way down there, you can't see it, but a few levels down. Also, yeah, ragdolls are pretty fucking hilarious. Did you just. Yeah, yeah, he did. Few levels down. If you see... Wait, no, it's not there. But in an area down there somewhere... Oh, there it is. You can make it out just next to Flame Toss. As in the text. That's a nest you can land in. It leads to a little area down there, which holds a crystal lizard. And yeah, there's an item we'll go grab. A talisman of God and Widow's Lotus. I mean, I guess this is arguably the easier place to get your Talisman of God, but still. 4-1 four, four is 4-1. And home to lots of souls. So I hadn't really sunk in last session, but I'm um, looking at my level before we started. The fact that I'm level 48 is pretty fucking nuts. Hmm. Pretty crazy. We'll be going back in a sec, don't worry. I just want to progress a little more down here. Yep. Yep, I'm sure you can't figure out what's going to happen here. Oh, that's, uh, that's crazy, eh? Get fucking shanked, man. Now you might be thinking, boy, why were you talking about Valley of Defilement? This seems incredibly easy so far. This has nothing on Blight Town. Oh, don't fucking worry, you will understand by the end of this. There are some shit. Did another guy just fucking throw themselves off somehow? No, he's there somewhere, right? Um, I think it's in the spot coming up. If you walk without the thief ring, you will aggro, well not aggro, rather spook the crystal lizard down below. Which isn't that hard. Would, sorry, isn't that big of a deal. But it's kind of annoying. Oh boy, fuck this room. I hate that area. Alright, let's do this. Oh boy. So yeah, that is, uh, that's incredibly easy to do. There's the, uh, sorry. Where we go? There, there we go. There's the nest. And yes, if you think you can see bodies in there, yeah, totally. Ah, uh, some good times. Some good times ahead. 
there is a merchant coming up. Just past that little spot. That was fucking clever. There is a lady who has some interesting dialogue to share. I mean, I say interesting, and well. I actually do mean it, surprisingly enough. That's some solid advice, comrades. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rotio. Yeah, he's kind of dead. Yeah, but I kind of just casually put corpses around because fuck it. Man, this place is fucked. I'm going to be saying that a lot, but... Blight Town at least had more of a semblance of like... I don't know how... How am I going to describe this? Blight Town seemed a little more hopeful than what we're descending into. And my statement becomes a lot more apparent the further we go into here. Maybe not so much in this this area. Because as you can see, like, it's more of a complex... I, yeah, I think it's more complex, um, architecturally, if that's how you say it, than Blight Town, but still. It's not exactly a great place to live. I wouldn't want to live here. Then again, I'd probably still get better internet here. Oh, oh fuck VNBN. If you're not Australian, and there's a good chance of that, um, NBN was meant to be our good internet. We were going to get fiber to the premises. Many moons ago. Under a government that's not shit. And well, that changed. Because now we're getting it, because Rupert Murdoch wants it. So there you go. I don't I don't even count that as political, that's just stating the facts, man. Yeah, fuck Murdoch. Just saying. Very contentious, I know. Radio, let's try some arrows, shall we? Uh-huh. Aha, uh -huh. but wait, how about Aha? Uh Aha -huh. uh -huh. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, you better fall. So there's a nest. The crystal lizard is just down there. There's a little bridge. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. This can kind of suck. So you've got to be ready for a fight. Because yeah, these two jackasses. Nice. Yeah. In this game, great shields are pretty rad. I think at least. Oh. Careful. Because there's some cool stuff going on with the blocks. Let's put this on. Because the lizard's going to be a shit. It's almost like, you know, you're a Dark Souls enemy, where they get like the 360 degrees of protection. I will talk about that red thing, don't worry. Faintstone. Cool, we got some cool shit to read. Alright, how about you, buddy? Yeah, maybe this is easy mode for this area. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, hey buddy. Holy shit, man. Huh. We done? Yeah? Oh, interesting. Yeah, lizard's kind of just wagging its tail. Adorable. Truly. Radio. Hmm. Let's just check. Ah, uh, we'll kill it first. It can't really harm us, but... Bless mates. This thing fucking rocks. So... Anyone who's played Dark Souls 1 and has not played this game, you're about to see something you might be familiar with. Poke. So this little tick thing works very much like those, uh, like those hollows in the painted world of Arianus. You get hit by that, you're uh, pretty much poisoned. Not toxic at least. Don't worry, the plague is just across that bridge. Now, while we're standing here, Let's have a look. A shard of faint stone. A, cold, a shard of cold holy ore that shines dimly and has a straight sword. Yeah, straight swords, axes, and hammers. I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know what else it enhances, but that sounds about correct. The power. Oh, sorry. The faint stone's power will also cause the user of a weapon blessed with it to slowly regenerate HP. Wow. Ruby. So, speaking of which, there we go. So you'll notice it um, screws over the um, physical scaling, the strength from decks, gives us some faith scaling. So yeah, 
Adjudicator Shield plus this plus regeneration. Well, sorry, the Ring of Regeneration and Regeneration spells. You're uh, you trucking along pretty well. So it's kind of what you imagine. Yeah. It's that kind of move set. And as consequence, it works um, with the uh, the Ever Master's Ring. And just to show off, like, look, I'm not doing a full showcase because you, you guys should know by now. But yeah, hammers, axes have incredibly similar movesets. Rightio. Let's just have a look at this message before we progress. There are demons nearby. True. So it might, it might not have been too apparent. But we saw one guy drop here, right? There was a, there's another guy, oh, sorry, parked on top of that um, wooden platform who will fall down. And some guys ahead that will do the same, just around here. And around here. So it's a nice ambush, I'll give him that. Now, for some reason, I'm putting that on, despite the fact I clearly stated why I'm doing that. Um, you know what? Huh. Did I have the plague ring? No, I don't, because that... That plague ring is in 3-2. Boy, I wish I had that now. I was playing that last night, actually. Oh, hey, rats. So I was playing 3-2 on a different account last night. So, rats. You'll notice they're a lot smaller than the, than the Dark Souls rats. These are the only um, well, non-NPC enemies that can inflict you with plague. And it fucking sucks. Now, I've talked up Plague quite a bit. Big fan of his artwork. Ha ha ha. Nah, but seriously. Um, let's have a look. I want to make sure there's only one left, so it's a lot easier to deal with. Also, yeah, hitboxes are a little specific. Oh yeah, that ahead, that's the reason um, I've waited so long. Alright, so, here we go. Let me demonstrate. Hit me. Yep. Now, watch my health. Oh, you know what, fuck this. Excuse me. So, I meant to point this out, and I think it's quite apparent. You will notice, if you haven't already, holy fuck, there is no status bar. So that's cool. Now let's take off this ring and just have a look how quickly my health's going down. Alright, let's have a look here. Hmm, five a second. So that's, uh, that's pretty fucking bad. The, the, uh, the ring will never outpace it, but it'll do a good job counteracting it. But yeah, plague fucking sucks. And if you come here early, well, good chance you don't have any of those. Hey, lady. We'll, we'll you know, chat in a second. There we go. The brave one ahead. Nice. <laughs> I do love the, uh, I do love the spear animations in this game. Come here, I want to show off. Alright, no, no, fuck this guy. Not on that, I'm not. The full body just... Go for it. Yeah. You, are uh, you gonna come forward? There we go. How about no? I've tried making a depraved one looking guy in Dark Souls 3. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. You just gotta wear nothing, really. <laughs> just the ragged stuff with the loincloth. Yeah, this guy's totally alive. Grew spear with some um, fire on the end. Very cool. Hmm, Saint set. Oh, who could have ever seen that coming? Eat shit. We shall look at the Saint set in but a moment. Well, wow, already 26? Huh. Um, I guess like five minutes or so is getting cut. Ah, oh, longer than that. It's like six minutes of me stuffing around before I started. Yeah, they're, uh, they've got interesting faces, if you hadn't noticed already. Hmm? <gasps> Nani? You proved the Chen. Massacre. Faint stone? These guys love some religious artifacts, as you can see. And just to make sure people realize, this 
is just off of that corridor. So we made a pretty, pretty big skip, didn't we? Yeah, again, I'm going to say, it. if this was uh, Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 3, we would have fucking died from that. Two 100% free, yeah, no, 100%, that's like, that's like the drop in fire link. You would have died. Yeah, don't take that as criticism of them. Yeah, but, yeah, well. Full damage is kind of fucky in those games, and I don't, don't know why. I really don't get it. Man, full damage in 3 shouldn't seem as weird as it does. Maybe it's just me. Radio. Let's have a conversation, shall we? To this lovely, charming woman. Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Radio. Let's have a look as to what she sells. Yeah, so this is your hint that, yeah, come here later. Our black turpentine. Natural resin collected from a black pine tree. Apply it to the right hand weapon to cover it in fire. The flame is much stronger compared to the regular shit. Regular shit. Though it does not last as long. So this lasts 30 seconds. Regular turpentine is 60 seconds. Yep. So, cleric stuff. Mace we looked at. Warpick. I, I can't remember if we get one, so I might have to come back and buy one. How much? How much? 4,000 Jesus, fuck. Halberd, I know we get, so don't worry. A hammer that specializes in pierce attacks. A pickaxe modified for use in battle. This hammer has a hard, like, a hard, big, like, protrusion that pierces even hard metal armor to deal damage. Following through with one swing and landing the hit will deal direct damage. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> Fucking, I'm losing it, man. One swing and landing the hit will deal a direct hit, which does more damage than normal. Yeah, so hammers and axes, or at least the hammers, I'm pretty sure, yeah, axes take this. This is the whole mechanic that works with the Master's Ring. It's, it's kind of annoying. It's the whole sweet, um, sweet spot mechanic, but in this game it's a little finicky. And even then, if you like co-oping or PvPing, well... You're going to want the friend or foe ring, depending, and then you've only got one other utility ring slot. So the Master's Ring, not very good. If it was in 2 or 3, pretty fucking sick. Because, you know, extra ring slots. A unique arrow with septic arrowhead. The rotten arrow causes the area's graze on the target to rot off. So, yeah, poison damage. Cool shit. Hey, chain armor. Neat. Very cool. Very cool. A hit. Anyway, a hat knit with thin steel wires. Strong against slash attacks. It is often worn by soldiers of the church. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regeneration. So as you can see, same thing. Yeah. The uh, formatting's a little different in every piece, sir. Except for first and s first and last. Okay. This is the last. This this last part's a little different. Though they are not metal, they have a high defensive aspect. Widely worn by soldiers of the church. Yeah. Let's get a dialogue. Curses! I wasted my breath on you. Did that witch send you to torment me? Huh? Witch, eh? Weird. Well, while we're here. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting invaded today. I'm kind of hoping I jinx myself. Let's pop one of these. First one of use the whole game. Please buy another. For the poor child. The poor child. Ah, yes. Poor wizard cos. Finished already? My little one is a growing boy. Please be generous. Please, but... Alright. Time for a conversation. You don't deserve to die. So let me give you some advice. This place is buzzing with pests. 
fattened on a diet of souls. In order to protect yourself, you must keep a lotus with you. The price of survival can never be too high, can it? How many years has it been? That witch Astraya came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, yes, it's true, she is as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Doesn't surprise me. In order to put the Radio, okay. Curses out did that. Yeah, okay. Sure, lady. So yeah, in the files, she Please. Oh fuck. Thought there was a mess. My bad. Okay, cool. Fire does not hurt us. So yeah, in the messages. Um wait, what fucking Christ. Oh. Um, in the files. There's a cool little thing. Of a model of her baby that is not in the full game. So, uh, yeah, from soft and child murder goes way back. So, uh, that's a thing. Alright, I'm fighting him here. Come on, fuckboy. Hmm. Ah, well, surely his perspective, he couldn't be that big, could he? No, of course not. Oh my god, look at him. Alright, give us one hit. Show him, show him what you can do, bud. Yep. Now, we'll, uh, we'll go over my stats again in a second just to punctuate how fucking strong this guy is. Oh, man. I'm not set to pure white, am I? If so, that's good, and at the same time, kind of annoying. Right. So, a giant to brave one. These guys are fucking tough. Again, just to uh, just to punctuate, my shield has a 65 guard break, a, a guard break of 65, and I have 22 endurance, and he did about 60% of my stamina. Um, yeah, if you don't have a great shield and nearly as much stamina, you can't block that shit. Also boulders. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, you might notice there's a platform up there. Yeah, pure white stuff. We'll uh, talk about that in a moment. Wait, what? Don't fucking tell me. Ah, shit, I've been playing this on easy mode. Oh well. Time to go up. Time to show you guys the annoying stuff. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Ah, oh, fuck you. Man. That's annoying. So before today, I've been considering maybe just doing all of all of this world in one go. But that had kind of made the LP lopsided and have it so I beat pretty much everywhere else before I even touch this. Um, bar the uh, Bar Boletaria itself. Boletarium Palace. So these are just regular depraved ones, thankfully. Drop your shield. Yep. Cool. So yeah. This ladder. Not here unless you're pure white. This area. Yeah, this area is of course. You just can't get to it. Now let's observe. Hmm. An item. And the giant depraved one. Who appears to have not have seen me for some reason. Yeah, had a feeling. Plonk. Let's try... Oh, that's right. Being a good little faith boy, wasn't I? Yeah? Yeah, hit me. Show, show the class. No, seriously, though. Please hit me. Come on. Ow. That's not even the worst they can do. Oh, that kind of sucks. I was hoping to not be on pure white, but that's something I should have checked before I started. Oh well. Hmm, maybe I can put it on pure black for 5-2. Um, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh well. So, things are getting pretty dicey up ahead. Because, as you can see, three of them. Now, let's go wooden catalyst for some fireballs, potentially. Also, yes, there is an item there glowing. 
How cool. So these guys will move weirdly when they really get going. Yeah, like that. Alright, come on. Trade. Time to trade. I should try the Claymore, maybe. That could be fun. Yeah, you know what, let's swap to the Claymore. Don't know what I'm using against the boss. Claymore might not be the best call, depending on how I'm going to play it. Do I face tank or do I snipe? Now yeah, we'll face tank and be a dick. We'll be an idiot. Uh-huh. That's the big hit right there. And we gotta hope the other guy did not aggro, which I don't think he would have. But hell, you never know in this game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, now let's just check. Nope, there was not four, there's only three. Okay, buddy. Come on. Put him up, show me what you got. Yeah. Interesting. Uh huh. Very interesting. Yeah, good show, mate. Good show. Yeah, you can get a proper look at their faces now. They've uh, got some weird proportions. Could be an ancestor or a relative to Patches. They might have a common ancestor. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Hmm, what's this? Ah, uh, I mean, I assume you're talking about the weapon, because it's pretty safe now. The weapon's not safe here. So let's have a look. The Israel, I think, is maybe how you pronounce it. So you need 9 strength, 18 dex, and 24 faith. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. EDA scaling. This thing's actually pretty strong by Demon Soul standards. So it's a spear. A pretty small ass spear though, isn't it? Huh. So what's the deal? Well, let's have a look at its description. A short spear of hard oak. It is covered with engravings and is one of the few revelations from God. Huh. That's interesting. Once belonging. Sorry. Once. Yeah, that could have worked. But once belonged to the Holy Knight. Lizaya. Lizaya? I don't fucking know. Its holiness increases the wielder's resistance to plague and poison. Ah, huh. so let's see. 276 and 51. Alright, so yeah. Like the, uh, like the rings, this doesn't factor in armor at all. This only factors in your base poison resistance and multiplies it by 4. Um, yeah, no, it was 4 when I checked. Cool. 